All right, good morning, Tomino Cougars. We're back, lesson number one for our soccer unit today. We are starting with dribbling. Now, boys and girls, you know, dribbling is one of the most important things you have to do when you are playing a game of soccer. That's how you possess the ball and control the ball to move it towards the other team's goal. Now, when we're dribbling, there's some cues that I want you to be using today as you go through your dribbling lesson. When we dribble today with your ball, you want to use light taps on the ball. Think about it for a second. Why would you want to use light taps instead of hard taps on a ball? Think about it for a second. You want to use light taps or soft taps because that helps you keep the ball close to your body. Okay, predict what's gonna happen if the ball is not close to your body. Right, the other team can easily try to steal it when the ball is far away from your body. So, soft taps is a big thing that you wanna use when you are dribbling the soccer ball. Next, you wanna have your eyes up. That doesn't mean you can't glance down, but when you have your eyes up, what can you scan? You can scan for defenders, okay? You can scan for another teammate, to pass, and we'll get there later on this week. Coach Barroso is making the passing uh, lesson later on. We can also look to see if the goal is open to take a shot. So having our eyes up is very important, not just for dribbling, but for our whole unit in soccer. Okay, we already kind of talked about keeping our ball close to our body. If our ball is not close to our body, then like we said, defenders are gonna have an easier time taking that ball away from us. We wanna possess this ball as much as we can, okay? And we want to use the inside and outside part of the foot. So today, when you're dribbling, use the inside and the outside part of your foot, okay? You can use all those parts of your foot to keep it close to your body. And last, the main thing, when we go to stop the ball, it's called a trap. We want to trap the ball so we can stop it and control it. So today, if you ever get out of control with your ball today, just lightly trap your ball just step on it with the bottom of your foot okay that's an easy way to trap your ball today okay just slightly step on it now don't step on it like this because then you're going to slip and fall but slightly just gently trap that ball with the bottom of your foot that'll help you control the ball we're going to go through seven tasks today seven tasks that will help you become a better dribbler by the end of class your goal listen to your goal boys and girls your job, student will be able to dribble a soccer ball using our cues, okay, we're working on these cues, to move around open space or around obstacles, okay? So today, I'm going to be using my driveway. Now, you, you may have a backyard, you may have a front yard, okay? I decided to use the driveway today because it's wet out. Uh, my sprinklers were a little, were, went on this morning and I don't want to be too wet, so I'm going to use the driveway right here, okay? So, the first thing we're gonna do today, our first task is dribble taps. Now, you can do this fast, you can do this slow. I just want you getting used to tapping the ball with your feet, okay? This is all it is, dribble taps. You can do this for a minute or two, all right? This is kind of like a warm up. This will get our body warmed up for our dribbling lesson. Now, if you start feeling, okay, like you can go a little bit faster, okay, then go ahead. All right, so a little dribble, dribble taps just like this is our warm up today. Remember, when we do any type of exercise or any type of sport, we want to warm up, warm up our body to get it ready for exercise. Do that for a minute or two, okay? And then we're going to move on to dribbling in open space. So I have my soccer ball here. Open space is space that is around you that you can move around without anyone being near you. So, we're gonna use the driveway. I'm gonna try to keep my ball from going out of bounds on the grass. So, when I say go, start dribbling in open space for two to three minutes, okay? Now, I'm not gonna dribble for two to three minutes. I'm just demonstrating the lesson, but I want you at home to dribble at each task, maybe two to three, maybe even five minutes, okay? So, dribbling open space. I want light taps on the ball using the inside and outside part of your foot. Remember, if you get out of control, trap and keep dribbling, okay? Dribble using the inside and the outside part of your foot. You can even use the, the bottom of your foot to pull the ball back if you like, okay? 
So I want you doing this for two to three minutes. If you have a brother or sister at home, get them going too. All right, and trap. Next task, I want you to try dribbling at different speeds. In soccer, it's important that you can go fast, slow, medium, to help make the defenders confused on what speed you're gonna use. So, let's try dribbling at different speeds. So, I'm gonna start here. I'm gonna start with a slow dribble, right? So, and then, medium. Medium's a light little jog, okay? All right, slight little jog, a little bit faster. And fast speed, whoo! Remember, if you start losing control, trap your ball and regain. So I want you working on those different speeds of dribbling your ball. Third task after our warm up, so it's really our fourth task, is I want you to dribble and change directions. Have your mom or dad or a brother or sister or someone who's at home with you tell you to change. So for example, let's say you start dribbling in open space and I want someone at home to say change. Change the direction you're going in. Change. Look, I'm changing the direction. Change. Okay, I'm changing my direction. Change. I can trap it and pull it the other way. Change. All right? Just like that. Dribbling our ball and changing directions. Notice I'm using the cues. My eyes are up. Ooh, I'm out of breath. Soft taps. I got the ball close to my body. And I'm using the inside and the outside part of my foot, okay? So we wanna use those cues. And then at the end, I trap the ball slightly to control it. Next task, dribble around obstacles. So what I want you to do is I got some obstacles right here. Now, I have some cones. You can, you can create your own obstacles. I'm gonna put them out here, all right? I got some cones. I got some old shoes I might not use. I'm gonna dribble around these obstacles, all right? I'm gonna line them up and try to dribble through them all. And we're gonna dribble around these obstacles, hoping to control our ball and not lose control. And I might even put, you know, a bowling pin right here on the way back so I don't lose control. So, start at the beginning. What I want you to do is use your inside, right here, and the outside, right here, and even the top, if you like, to dribble within these obstacles without losing control. Remember, there's no speed on this one. Take your time, work under control, use the cues that we've been talking about, okay? And like I said, each task, you can work on each task for two to three to five minutes, all right? Up to you. If you want to work on it longer, that's fine. All right, so dribble around the obstacle. So I want you to try to dribble using the inside and outside part of your foot, going in between the obstacles. When you get to the last one, trap, then change your direction around the bowling pin and come back. Try again now. Now, here's one thing I didn't talk about. Should we use only our dominant foot or our non-dominant foot? We should use both. So, after you did it one time with your dominant foot, let's try it with our non-dominant foot. Yes, it's gonna be a little bit harder. Okay, take your time. All the way around. Then when you get up to the bowling pin, change your direction and come back and trap. And then do it with your other foot. Like I said, try each task for two to three minutes, even five minutes if you like. All right. Next, next task is our dribble challenge. So, I want you right now to dribble in your open space or your general space, and I want you to try to dribble without hitting any of those obstacles or without losing control. Each time you tap the ball with your foot, give yourself a point. We're gonna see how many points you can get in a one minute time frame. So time yourself, okay? Now, if you lose control, or if you hit one of your obstacles, you have to go back to zero. You have to start your count all over. So, let's say I start a minute. Mommy, I'm counting one, two, three, Mommy, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, I hit an obstacle, so I gotta start over. Back to one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, if my ball goes out of bounds, I gotta start all over again. Okay? So try, okay? Right? Try to see how many you can dribble without losing control. Now, our last task of the day. Make sure you pick up your equipment for this one. All right. It's called Red Light, Green Light Challenge. Now, I would try to get someone in your household to call red light or green light. So let's say I start on the far side of my open space. I'm trying to get to the other side playing red light, green light. So when the person says green light, you start dribbling. When they say red light, you stop your ball and trap it. Green light, red light, ooh, almost lost control. Green light, and I try to get all the way to the other side. All right, so that's called red light, green light challenge. It's a little game at the end of your lesson for you to try and do. That is our socket, soccer unit day one lesson, okay? Working on these dribbling tasks. Remember, on each of these tasks, I want you to try to dribble with both feet. Not just your dominant foot, I want you to try with your non-dominant foot as well. Use these cues to help you. And remember, your goal by the end of class was to dribble a soccer ball using correct cues to move around open space and around those obstacles that we had out. Okay, boys and girls? I'm putting this on Edgeby. Please check it out. I'm also putting out a poll. I want to know how many dribbles you had within that one minute time frame. Was it 10? Was it 20? Was it 30? I'm going to put it in a range. So I might have 10 to 20. I might have 20 to 30, 30 to 40, or 50 or more. You click in which dribble challenge or which, however many you had the most and click it on our poll on Edgeby today. All right. That is all I have. Coach Barroso will be sending out or we both were been sending out PowerPoint, but she'll be sending out the PowerPoint for Thursday, and she has a video made for dribbling and passing. So we're gonna add on to what we learned today, dribbling, and then we're gonna be passing next time you come out to PE. Hope everyone's being safe. I miss you boys and girls. Have a great day.